Hello lovely people, my name is Emma and today I'm doing a book review for the book Humankind by Rutger Bregman, but I'm also going to be doing the very first giveaway on my channel. So I really enjoyed this book Humankind by Rutger Bregman, so much so that I'm actually going to be giving away two copies of this to uh, some viewers. So if you want more information about the giveaway you're going to need to hang around till the end, but all the information is also in the description box down below, so feel free to check that out. In the interest of total transparency, I do want to say that I was given a free review copy of this by Bloomsbury, which is one of the reasons why I'm doing this giveaway, so that I can give back uh, to the fact that I had got this one for free. So, let's jump in with the book review, and then I'll put a timestamp for it if you are interested in the giveaway at the end. Humankind, A Hopeful History by Rudger Bregman is a non-fiction book with, which is a re-examination of humankind and what exactly it is about humans that have meant that we have reached this stage in our evolution in terms of our kind of uh, global supremacy on this planet. The general accepted view is that humans are horrible horrible creatures that are you know scratch the altruist and watch the selfish man bleed you know all of those kind of ideas we are just the savage man with a veneer of civilization put over the top and all it takes is a tiny little bit to crack that and uh, let loose the savage within. What Rutger Bregman is doing in this book is saying, hey, do you know what? That is uh, probably not true, and here's a bunch of evidence as to why. So this is a book that is arguing that rather than being competition that has meant that we've got so far, it's our compassion and our kindness and our humanity that has meant that humans have done so well. It is looking at this from a very wide range of different um, kind of angles. The first section of the book looks at some of the um, information we can get from prehistory and prehistoric remains and evidence as to whether we were as warmongering as people have claimed before and our kind of ancestors and Neanderthals and things like that as well. It's then looking at a section to do with psychology and some of the very famous studies are from around the 50s and 60s, people like Zimbardo's Stanford Prison Experiment and Milgram's Electric Shock Experiment and arguing based on new evidence about them as well as other evidence um, that subsequent people have done in experiments that actually these are not showing that we are terrible human beings who just need any excuse to hurt each other and that they've been blown wildly wildly out of proportion. The later half of the book looks at things like the absolute atrocities that have been uh, performed by humans in the past and how it is that human beings can be tricked into basically being terrible people and then the last half of it sorry last quarter is kind of looking ahead to the future on what can we do to try and spread the message that we are compassionate and in doing so raise that level of compassion and make it more um, of a standard thing. I think that this book is absolutely stunning. It's got the level of structure and kind of um, key signposting that I really look for in a non-fiction. It can be very easy to get lost. And this one is very clear and concise with its a variety of chapter breaks, chapter headers, and real nice summing up at the beginning and end. It's not too crazy heavy on the stats or anything like that. It really relies on a lot of anecdotal evidence then backed up by hard science afterwards. But the anecdotes help to make it feel a little bit more human and easier to kind of understand where Bregman is coming from. He's also got a fairly light touch when it comes to humour, which is really appreciated because some of these uh, topics are naturally going to be a little bit emotional in places, so it's just worth bearing that in mind before you go in. Obviously the back of it has got tons of index, you know, notes galore, you know that it has been well researched, as you would expect from a non-fiction like this. So I really think that this is an incredible book and is so, so relevant, especially what we're going through at the moment. The argument is basically that the news and the general media has a tendency of shoving bad things down our throat, which means we really get a kind of confirmation bias, where because you expect the world to be a terrible place, because it's all you ever get to see, it means that therefore you start looking for that terrible thing, and if you assume that everybody is going to be a bad person, you end up thinking that it's more okay for you to do it as well. And the idea behind this book is that we need to pull back from that and avoid that kind of an outlook, and instead think that actually, time and time again, we've been proving Proven that human beings when thrust into difficult situations really rise to the challenge and they're generally very very good and very compassionate and actually this idea that everybody is out for themselves really is only a tiny minority and that generally they are not the ones that we want to put the emphasis on. My favourite section from this in particular was definitely the stuff looking at the um, big famous psychology experiments because I did A-level psychology and I vividly remember learning about the Stanford prison experiment and the Milgram's electric 
bookshop one. To, so to find out just how much the stats from those have been basically manipulated and twisted and also just the lack of ethics Zimbardo had about how much he had control over his own experiment and how much influence he put into this was absolutely stunning. Like it was just completely, and I mean stunning in the sense of it stunned me rather than stunningly beautiful. Like it was completely insane and blew my mind because this is something that I know was on my A-level psychology syllabus is like a fairly well-known thing and has been kind of almost gospel for for how we understand how human beings act and instead actually it turns out it's complete bollocks like it's insane to think that this was ever even allowed and it's really interesting looking at um Bregman does a really good job of pulling out these specific examples of ideas that aren't necessarily the most backed up or well researched that have really taken on a life of their own and become these kind of again gospel common knowledge ideas that it turns out potentially don't have any like real solid foundation at all. The broken window theory is another one that's mentioned in here that really has been taken much further than its creator ever intended it to be and it's something that we should not be relying on in the slightest and so it was really incredible to have the opportunity to look at these sort of common knowledge things with a different lens. I would heavily recommend this book to pretty much anybody. I really think if you are someone who is not keen on non-fiction or doesn't read much non-fiction this is still going to be an amazing read for you and it's just so so important given everything that's going on today. So because of that I'm giving away two copies and now let's talk about that. So uh, this giveaway is going to be running until the 1st of June, until midnight on the 1st of June, so it's about a week that you've got from point of when this video is hopefully going to be going up. If you want to enter, you do have to be from the UK. I'm really sorry, it's just that the US and like trying to do an international shipping it's not something that I'm uh, tr gonna try and worry about right now. So you do have to be from the UK. You just need to comment, yes, I'd like to be enter down below or something along those lines. And then what I'll do is I'll randomly draw two winners um, on midnight, uh, the 1st of June, and I'll get in contact. Another reason why I'm going for the UK rather than internationally is because I want to support an independent bookstore that I always buy my books from, which is Topping & Co. I love them so much and I will be placing an order with them in the first week of June. I know that for a fact. So I want to include within that the two copies of this. So it will be sent to you from an independent bookstore. And what I hope is that if you enjoy the book, if you're the person who wins the giveaway and that if you enjoy it, you read it and you really like it, that you try and give back as well and you buy a copy for somebody else. Because I got this one for free from the publishers and I wanna be able to support the author by not only, you know, mentioning up my channel, but also actually with money, like actual money. So <laughs> that's why I'm gonna be buying two copies and passing this forward. So those are the information for the giveaway. This is an amazing book. Totally check it out. Uh, Roger Bregman, you're a babe. Uh, that's it from me. Have a wonderful reading week. See you soon. Bye.